can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Using this square, draw a right triangle inside of it, wherein the hypotenuse is the side length of the square, with the leg equals 6 and 9 units. Now, from this vertex, draw a segment that connects the vertex of the square, and let's call this as x. But the question is, what is the length of the segment x? Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so... Before we answer this question, I will show you first the answer to this question. The length of the segment x must be equal to 3 multiplied by the square root of 5. Now, we have two possible strategy to answer this kind of question, but we have a lot of possible solutions, but here's the common solution. The first one is by using the cosine law, and the second one is by rotating some figures. Now, let's start with our solution using the cosine law. Alright, so to start with, let's call this angle as angle alpha and this angle must be angle beta. Since it is the acute angles on a right triangle, so we can say that alpha plus beta equals 90 degrees. Now since the square, the angle right here must be 90 degrees, this is beta so we can say that the other angle must be equal to alpha because alpha plus beta equals 90 degrees. Now, to use the cosine law, we need the length of the side of the square. So to do that, we will use the Pythagorean theorem on this right triangle right here to solve for this s, or this is the side length of the square. So we have s equals the square root of 9 squared plus 6 squared. Now 9 squared must be equal to 81 and 6 squared must be equal to 36. Now, if we add this, 81 plus 36, this will give us 117. So, S equals square root of 117, that is the length of the side of the square. And also, since it is a square, this side length is also square root of 117. Now, using this triangle, we can now use what we call the cosine law. Now, cosine law states that the square of the side of a plane triangle equals the sum of the squares of the remaining sides minus twice the product of those sides and the cosine of the angle between them. Or we can write this as x squared equals 6 squared plus square root of 117 squared minus 2 times 6 times square root of 117 times cosine of the given angle which is alpha. Alright, so now let's simplify this. 6 squared, this will give us 36. Square root of 117 quantity squared, we can cancel out the square root and the squared, so we have here 117. Now 2 times 6, this will give us 12. 36 plus 117, this will give us 153. Now, the question is, what is the value of this cosine alpha? So, to solve for the value of cosine alpha, we will use this right triangle. So, this right triangle, we have here alpha. So, cosine is the adjacent side, which is 9, over the hypotenuse, which is 117, or square root of 117. So, cosine of alpha must be equal to 9 over square root of 117. Now, using this value, we can replace this to this cosine law. So, we have here x squared equals 153 minus 12 times square root of 117 times 9 over square root of 117. Now, take note, we can cancel out square root of 117. So this will give us x squared equals 153 minus 12 times 9. And we know 12 times 9, this is very easy, this is just 108. Next, 153 minus 108, this is just 45. Now, to solve for the value of x, let's get the square root on both sides. And take note, since x is a length, so we have positive values only. So we have x equals square root of 45. Now, let's simplify. 
45 is simply equivalent to 9 times 5. And square root of 9, there you go, we have 3 times square root of 5. And that is the value of x. So using our first method, cosine law. Now, let's begin our second solution. This is very simple and this is very easy. The second one, rotating some figures. Alright, so now the question is, what figure do we need to rotate? Of course, this right triangle right here, like this. Alright. So, we know this segment right here must be equal to 9 units. So, we have now 6. So, the other segment must be equal to 3. Of course, this is just x. And this segment right here is 3. So, a total of 3 plus 6, this will give us 9. Next, this segment right here, this is just the 6. So, this is just 6. Because, again, we rotate the figure. And now, using this right triangle right here, we can now easily solve for the value of x. And x using Pythagorean theorem is just x squared equals 6 squared plus 3 squared. So, 6 squared is 36, 3 squared is 9, 36 plus 9 equals 45, get the square root on both sides, and sure enough, x equals square root of 45 again, and square root of 45, this will result to 3 times square root of 5. And there you have it. Therefore, the value of x given this figure must be equal to 3 times square root of 5 units. And as always, we are done.